Today is the first day of spring. Peter and his friends look all around them, but they can't see much difference between yesterday and today. That's because seasons change slowly. Since just before Christmas, each day has been getting a little longer and each night a little shorter. Peter tells his mother that he and David have something to show her. It's a poster they made at school, which shows day and night exactly the same length. This is what happens when it is the first day of spring, which usually comes on the 21st or 22nd of March. Peter and David want to start a garden, but Mrs. Frank tells them it's too early yet. The buds on the bushes are just beginning to get bigger. Peter's sister Jane still sees snow in a few places, even though the crocus is already in bloom. But it won't be long before there'll be many more signs of spring. In a few weeks, the buds on the trees and bushes begin to open into green leaves. Here, with the action speeded up, we see the leaves unfolding from the buds. In nature, this takes several days. Jane and Peter find some pussy willows. They look especially beautiful when the sunlight shines through them, like this. Plants are alive and always moving, but we can't see their movement without the aid of a time-lapse camera. Here, some tulip leaves are just beginning to push their way up through the grass. And here, our camera shows us how the forsythia flowers open gradually. Now there are many signs of spring. The birds have begun to come back. Many of them flew southward for the winter. Some will fly further north, but many will stay here all the summer to build their nests, lay their eggs, and hatch their young. Jane is watching her mother pick daffodils. These plants grow from bulbs which live in the soil all the winter. In spring, as the soil becomes warm and wet, the bulbs grow and bud, and here are the flowers in bloom. Daffodils are among the first spring flowers. Here's another early spring flower, the tulip. Tulips also grow from bulbs. By early May, many different flowers are in bloom. These pansies aren't able to live through the winter. They were started in the greenhouse and were then transplanted to the garden. The violets are also in bloom. The dandelions are an attractive yellow, even if they don't have a pleasant scent. But Jane's mother doesn't like dandelions. She says dandelions are weeds that crowd out the grass. May is a good month for picnics, and today is just right for one. The sun is bright and the air warm and all the trees are covered with new leaves. Many of the trees are in blossom. Peter and Jane are looking for a good place to picnic. Peter stops to look at the needles of the evergreen trees and his father explains that these are new needles which grew this spring some of the old needles will drop off.
In a little pool near the river bank are some tiny tadpoles. They will grow into frogs later in the summer. There are many wildflowers in the woods and fields. These are wild geraniums. This is a pink lady slipper. These are trilliums. Here's the wild arum cuckoo pint. And here's a buttercup. Peter has seen something. It's a yellow warbler beside its nest in the tree. There are many newborn animals in the woods in spring. Here are some young robins. A chipmunk is busy digging into the ground. Here's a rabbit family. And there goes a family of striped skunks. Nearby is a woodchuck. He slept all the winter until the weather turned warm. Peter and Jane are exploring the woods. Peter studies the animals of the stream. He sees lots of fish swimming in the water. And a duck with her ducklings. And now it's time to go home. On the way, Mr. Frank tells Peter and Jane to look at the field across the road. They see the farmer at work with his plough. Spring is ploughing time. And this reminds Peter and Jane that it's time to start on their garden. The soil is just right for planting, warm, and not too wet. These are tomato plants, which Mrs. Frank grew from seeds in the greenhouse. Peter's planting corn. They will have to be thinned out when they start to grow. The children have planted carrot seeds too, and they're going to put in some flowers. These boxes contain marigolds and ageratum. Mrs. Frank shows Jane how to handle the plants carefully so as not to damage them in planting. And here comes Peter with some petunias. The wind is getting up and it's beginning to rain. Thunder showers often come quite suddenly in the spring. But soon the sun comes out again to warm the earth and make the newly planted flowers grow. 